So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the Arctic Bomb Trojan here on Windows 98 with a compact desk pro acting as the guinea pig. Now this Trojan here, it's a quick and pretty dirty virus, and however you get it, whether it's email or Kazaa or even a bulletin board service or anything like that, it's got a pretty nasty payload, and considering that the icon for it is a lit stick of dynamite you can probably get an idea what we're going to be in for here so as you see we got windows 98 here everything is working fine we can navigate to our folders we've got all our programs and icons and desktop background yada 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 so again however you got arctic bomb whenever you run it See, within seconds of doing that, okay, you see that we've lost all our desktop icons. I don't have the quick launch here anymore. All the quick launch icons are gone. I can still click on the desktop and right click. If I go to my start menu, you see everything's kind of missing. There's no programs here, there's no folders up there, there's no favorites documents or anything of the sort. In fact, even the find has all the infamous icons of I don't know where that is. We still have our explorer window open here, which is interesting. Ooh. Now see, you can I can tell you for the C drive that doesn't look quite right. Whole bunch of Sims win 41c whatever this folder is so it does not exist hmm. interesting I still have system tray icons do they do anything well that's interesting retrozilla still came up which is installed on here Cafe virus scan oh, there, whoops well we got a Fatal exception. Blue screen of death. Oh. I mean, now we got a kind of a Windows 3.1 style box here. It says Explorer caused a segment not present fault in module kernel32.dll at whatever this address references. Uh, we just got a close button. What do we do here? Okay, now we've completely lost Explorer. There's nothing there. Now we got a blink dialog box with nothing but an OK button. Hmm. Okay. And now we got this little box, whatever it is. Not going away, not going away. Can't click on anything. Let's see. Ah, Test Manager can still come up. Still have quite a few things, but hmm. can't quite do anything on the computer yet. All right, let's restart. So we'll force the restart. Although considering what Drive C looked like there, I don't have good expectations for boot up. And invalid system disk. So yeah, Arctic Bomb pretty much just wiped out the entire drive and all our data on it. So what exactly happened there when we ran Arctic Bomb? Well, let's back up to the beginning. So after about five seconds or so after you start up Arctic Bomb, again, however you got it, like I mentioned before, within five seconds or so, it pretty much wipes everything clean on the hard drive there. It corrupts it, trashes it, everything. You saw all our desktop icons and quick launch icons go away. Everything was missing from the start menu, pretty much. And when we went to Drive C, it said there was stuff that didn't exist, that didn't make sense, didn't have any characters. So, again, within five seconds, Arctic Bomb just pretty much wipes out the disk and then it scrambles all the disk sectors. So all your data is unrecoverable. Now, Windows is still running because it's loaded into memory. But the thing is, Arctic Bomb tries to make use of as much of the computer's resources, and especially the memory, as it can. So that's why, after some time there, we also got this 
blue screen of death that was talking about some kind of fault and then we got that fault with explorer saying not present we press ok and then we get another dialog box that's completely blank with ok because at that point the system has completely run out of memory and everything is just crashed and because there's no fonts available at that point because again Arctic Bomb has deleted everything there's nothing for that one last dialog box to display and so pretty much at that point there's nothing the user you can do so as you saw when we just restarted the computer here since there's nothing on the disk and all the sectors have been scrambled to make sure that your data is unrecoverable by any means we get this invalid system disk when it attempts to load the operating system so that's pretty much it for the Arctic Bomb